So did you have to install anything else to get it to run? Just take a Ubuntu and throw yeah, it on? Yes, uh, EPT, EPT. <laughs> <laughs> they had to pack it for me. They had a uh, uh, set up for Ubuntu, Fedora, Linux, and Linux. And they had to pack it for the Windows, or Stand. So you just go to the website, pull down whatever. It has the instructions if you want to set it up, so that it automatically updates it to Ubuntu. Do you have any idea how many people are using this? I mean, how many computers or how popular it is? Or? Uh, in Europe, I understand it's really popular. I, in fact, I have to to it. <laughs> As usual, their network sucks. Anybody here. Want to get yeah, you got to you got to accept their thing on the web page.
web channel where you can put stuff up on YouTube. Can I write down for you? Sure. Let me write down a few of So what's happening? It looks like the firewall is preventing it from getting. No, it's it's saying there's that it doesn't have a, all kinds of open ports that it can go through, it, so it has to go a, a, what they call a tendril way. It actually subconnects to another machine, which in turn connects out. It uses UDP connection to it. It's okay. It's that's you'll probably get that on all your machine, all your machines at home. So most of the destination sites are in its. Cloud network or all the sites with it, within its cloud network. Very rarely do both in the design go out. It's all about design state. <coughs> okay, I have some thoughts. That's basically what it says here. It says I know I know these people. These people I can receive stuff from, and these are the people that I can send stuff out. That's how it know that's that's their keys that it knows where they're located. It's through its cloud. It's there like a public key. Is there any sort of uh, Google or search engine for the, the destination sites or registry or something? Yeah, it has a few opinions. What they are changes. So if you go to them, if you go to a, the, some of the sites, it gives you a starter. Yes. Sir. Actually, you feel your way around and there's some yeah. it's, it's not user friendly in the fact you can't just say, I want to go to a Google, I want to go in. It makes you work. But it has, uh, it has a online forum with some hosting sites. Um, so if you did want to go to Google, will it stay down to Google? If you, if you set up a out proxy connection or out proxy plugin, yes, it will. It will be, when, it's finished, when you set it up just like this, it's strictly within its own cloud. It's, it's not really, it's anonymous, but it's not in the Tor anonymous. You can, you can set up a, 
connection to Tor and have it go through from there to Tor out. But we initially set up it strictly in its own cloud. What are the sites? Are they just simply that hash that you saw, like those other people you're connected to? Like, is a server simply that hash, no. or is it is another kind of address? And how it's do you, how how would you host one? Like, if you wanted to put up your own EEP site, uh, it has. You follow the instructions. Okay. Basically, what you're doing is. You go into a configuration, you set up on the, on the I2P, your local machine, this is my site name. It sets up a 512 character key, which is like a public key. Okay. Then you take that public key and either put it into, manually put it into a database. Okay. Or you send it, there's a site you can go to. That will help propagate it out. That will populate it out. Okay. Oh, and there's already, is that already a web group that's... Yeah, that's that's where right there is where the uh, that's your website. That's that's your each site. It creates, okay. It has the configuration, or you could make it a uh, mul You can make multiples. You go to. configuration to add to databases, but that's, we go that way, we're going to do Isn't it just in tunnels? No, there's actually a, a, an actual page you go to that will, you can add website, put the key in the website. Oh, to add individual each site? Yeah. So yeah, that's it. it's address book. What was it? What did you say? It's address book. He's right. That's what it is. It's there. Local services. Yeah. And this is step two, how to talks about how to add to other sites. You tell you how many peers it knows. This is the database that it knows of all its other peers. Tells you what location, where, what country they're in, which is kind of cool. So I don't understand if you're staying within the the network there, how you get to the external sites and stuff. You know, you, well, you can through what they call plugins. You add a plugin to the the web or your web page, and it will know. You add it to your address book. And it says, I want to go through this site to go out to another site. It's not, this isn't designed like Tor to go out, it's designed to stay in its cloud itself. It's, think of, it's like a dark net, I guess you'd call it. So you explicitly create an exit node? Yes, you can, you can get one through, hunting through and say, I, these are uh, good exit nodes, because they'll change. People won't have them, a lot of people bring them down. It's like Tor, sometimes you can get to a site, sometimes you can't. You put it in your address book. make your copy an exit node? For it's yours only. And every participant is a router, so the traffic is coming in, traffic is coming out all the time. Yeah, it's it's track. I mean, it's like a big mesh network. Everybody's sharing everybody else's network. The bigger it gets, the faster it gets. And like torch, the more you use it, the bigger it gets, the faster it gets. So I could set up a mailing list or say a discussion group, and only people inside I two would see that. And you, only people that you let know them. You don't have to publish it. You can set up a website, but set up the network publishing and say, distribute the key, distribute, distribute the location, the uh, public key for it. Okay. Cool. Yeah, now I have more tunnels. As it's, as it's going out, it's finding more and more. This is a new configuration, so I don't have any of that. Now, you don't go to, um, like in the address bar, you're always going to be going to localhost on on the local port, right? You don't ever like put in the address. Like it's not integrated at that level, right? Where yeah, you, you can do that. You can actually oh, you set can? up your so I two P like colon slash slash or something like that. No, it's no. You, what you do is go to. You would set up 
your sites you want to go to on this page here. Okay. Select one. That's the website. Now that's the actual site that you would put in, but it's a key to a different. The extension okay. is always I2P, but it's the key. The public key is what you put in there. That's that is for you to look at. Okay. But it knows it as different as a public key. This is what this site is. And is this what you're talking about? How it's slow at the beginning? Yeah, it's slow at the beginning because I haven't, I don't have enough peers. It may not know where that site's at. Yeah. It could be down too. Or an IGP could be down. Try a different one. Let's try. How long do you typically have to stay connected for it to be, you know, kind of fully populated? Uh, well, it's, it's never really. The more you, the longer you stay connected, the more connections you'll get. So that's okay. So but it seems like something you don't want to be turning on the service, and then turning off the service. No, if you're uh, going to turn it on for five minutes and turn it off, you don't want to do that. If yeah. You have okay. For hours. Okay. Yeah. Or all day, you can do that. But you'll probably want at least an hour runtime. At least an hour to start. This is a deep site. Okay. This is an IGP site. And it's strictly available. You'll never be able to get to this outside. It's strictly inside. And it has that logo because it's actually run by Yeah, IGP. it's run by the IGP Foundation. Okay, so they act as a top of the first. Yes, there is bad places. Bad people. How big is its oh. development team? Um, and not sure. Okay. Because I know they they update it probably once every two or two months. But it's like there's another one. Granted, the ECA would be interested in using something for their own spooks. So yeah. Well, Tor is still being used by the federal government. I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, but but I'm. <laughs> that would be good to look at. I haven't seen that much. The government's yeah. using it, but I know they're trying to break it. Right? <laughs> this will be actually be up. The presentation will be up on my website or timersystems.com probably Monday or Tuesday. And then eventually the YouTube will give for my video. Well, there's a lot of YouTube videos about this. Started, you can YouTube can get on the dark net and be followed by the NSA, the FBI, and the CIA. You say that like we aren't already. <laughs> Anybody who goes to Penguin County probably NSA file. <laughs> <laughs> what was your website again? Time system. Time system. O T A K U S Y S T E M S. Cool, thank you.